Hey there everyone! Today's gonna be a little bit different. Today, as you see, I'm doing the intro. That's because mom's out of town and we're gonna do something we promised the kids that they found out about uh, when we first moved here. And we promised them that if mom ever has to go away or she just doesn't want to do something one weekend, that I would take them to do it. It's a place in Birmingham, a couple hours away. They have a couple things outside to do and then you go inside and that's uh, the attraction. And they say on busier days to arrive about one and a half to two hours early before your entry time. So we're gonna go out about three hours early. We'll have a nice little picnic in a grassy area that's walking distance from the attraction. We'll go inside and we'll see what it's about. So, I know, I've kept you waiting. We're going to Cadbury World. This should be a lot of fun. They have the Bourneville Experience, which is outside, and they have a 4D theater, which should be really cool. However, uh, when I was looking on the website when I booked the tickets, uh, it said it was closed. They did say if it's closed, you get extra piece of chocolate, so hey. And we're going to go out there. We're going to see what there is to do. There's a playground. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe not. Depends on how crowded it is. It should be pretty crowded because it's a bank holiday weekend. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're going to go out there. We're going to have a good time. Um, I'm going to let the kids do a little bit of an intro just so they can be involved. And let's see how it goes. So, uh, so we're going to Cadbury World. World. And, and I'm, I'm so excited to go. Excited. It's yeah. going to be, it might be chocolatey. Yeah, and hopefully fun. we get some chocolate, right? Yeah, I hope we can get a chocolate egg. Oh, uh, we'll see. We'll have to see. You know, I was reading the brochure you had, yeah. and it said it's got the world's largest Cadbury shop. <gasps> That's a lot of chocolate, right? All right, yeah. so you guys excited to go? Yes! All right. Let's go! Alright, so we've made it. We're at Cadbury World, or well, we're in the parking lot, which yeah. we it's are... way, way far away. I know. That's we... why I must explain that it doesn't look like what I thought it would I be. I know, it's very busy, uh, so we are parked basically as far back as we could possibly be. We're going to go ahead, have our picnic in the car here, and then we'll go see what there is to see. We're getting all set up for our little picnic. Yeah. In the trunk of the car. Foot, my foot is. I had initially planned to go and find somewhere else, like a grassy area to sit down. But as I was driving in, I realized there's not a whole lot of places to do that. So, trunk of the car it is. Yep. Can't complain though because there's shade. So, it's nice, it's cool, and it's a gorgeous day. Mom's joined well, us. now you can't go that far. A little bit anyway. Which cameo? Yep, you're the only cameo she's going to have in this video. We just finished eating. We shut the car. We gave Mommy a quick call. And we got to say hi to her. And now... she's over in Florida. She is in Florida. Yeah, they have the, it's, I forget what the name of it is, but what a playground. Why does it look busy? Uh, probably not. I think we're going to pass on that. No, nope, there's the 4D Chocolate Adventure. I think it might be open, so we'll have to go see. All right, let's go. It looks like we're in luck, and the 4D Chocolate Adventure is open, so we're in line. According to the song. Loud music and periods of darkness. Yeah, some... 
according to Ed, it looks like we're about a 40 minute wait, so that'll be about perfect. So we only had to wait about 20 minutes or so. Uh, so we're in the 4D chocolate adventure, huh? Are you guys excited? Yes. Yeah? Landon said he's kind of excited and kind of nervous. Me too. So we'll have to wait and see, right? So we got our special glasses that we're going to put on. And yeah, we're in our 4D chairs, right? I'm going to put my glasses on. Okay, yeah, you can put them on now. So we just finished the 4D chocolate experience or yeah. adventure, right? Yeah. What like you were it? actually doing it. Yeah, so for, what do you think the 4D was? The, so like, like the things flying at you. Yeah, the things were flying at us. We wore yeah. our 3D glasses, right? Yeah. yeah and then right. we sat in a chair and the chair moved. Yeah, just so a little bit. the chair was all moving. And it and even made it look like that you were going upside down on the ride that was taller. On a little than, loop, yeah. Than the, that was cool, huh? What about... Did you, did you feel the air? It felt like we were going yeah. up in the air and you could feel the wind blowing. And they had a sign that said, do not enter, and we just entered. Yeah? Yeah, no. Mr. Parrot is really naughty. He was naughty, wasn't he? Yeah. He, he probably always gets cold when it's Christmas. Yeah, so that was their 4D chocolate experience. They have the playground here. The playground? Uh... Not right now, buddy. Let's go see if there's other things we can see and do, okay? Let's go, guys. So, we're inside the Bourneville Experience. It seems to be like it's a little museum. And it's pretty neat. See a name that we know. They also have a really neat model here. And then these little things which basically light up to a picture that you can look through and see. We just finished the Bourneville experience. It is not something that kids liked. The children were antsy and they did not want to be in there. So we tried, but not something they enjoyed. They liked the 4D experience, but not the other thing. So now, I think it's time that we head and go actually into Cadbury World now that we've done this outside stuff, right? Are you guys excited? Evie, tell me what you found. I found a nest and I it looks like a hummingbird. Eggs. It has two eggs. Let's see if we can like get it on the camera. It looks like a hummingbird, doesn't it? I don't. We're headed to the main reception area now, huh? Right. So we're at the front of Cadbury World. We have to go in and check it out. You guys ready? So they have all these little eggs. It's hard to see. Um, but they have these eggs scattered through the thing, and they said if they count them, the kids could win a prize. So we've already seen two, one at the front counter and one right here. We'll just have to see how many we can find. So we've counted four eggs up to this point. It's rather dark in here, so we'll see how well the video turns out. What's this? This is just bag for seats, drop hits. Get rid of it. What sort of treasure shit is this? 
So down at the end of this hallway, they have a little tempering station where you can, they'll put a little spot of, of chocolate in front of you and then you'll smear it out and temper it. And then there's also a little section where you can write your name in chocolate. So they have little bottles that you could write your names. And then if you see right there, they also actually have a hand washing station. So once you're done, you can clean it. Have a little area where you can take green screen photos. We went ahead and we passed on that. But they said we can go straight onto the ride, so that's where we're headed. Enjoy. Okay, so what do we get? Ice cream. Not exactly, no, chocolate. it's liquid chocolate and they put stuff in it. Evie, what'd you get in yours? You got, what? Jelly bears and chocolate? Yeah, and, and I got Lana jelly got... bears and mini marshmallows. Yep, and Daddy just got white chocolate because he loves white chocolate. And look at this, look at that, isn't that really cool? Look at how clean it looks in there, isn't that great? And then she's over here, and she's making stuff. Go ahead, eat it, Lyman. It's going to be drippy. What do you think, son? How is it? Good. Really good? What about you, Evie? How is it? Good? So over there where you would get the chocolate from, they had a really neat machine. It would spit out a cup, and then it would pump the chocolate in. It would pop it up and then put it on a little conveyor belt. That way it wasn't too hot by the time they actually gave it to somebody. So that was pretty cool. And we're going to keep going on and see what else there is. What just happened? We got Peter Rabbit. Yeah. How many How many did we count? Fifteen. Fifteen. That's right. That was a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Yeah. So we'll keep going. Let's go, guys. And now that we've made it through the whole thing, they dumped us off in the store. 
So there's lots of chocolates and candies and little stuffies, a whole lot of different things. And they said very nicely, don't touch it unless you plan on buying it. So, well, let's have a look around and see what else there is. Look at the size of that chocolate bar, 850 grams. So we managed to shut the place down. What place down? Yeah, it's, all, it's basically all closed, look. So here's everything we bought. All things considered, I think it was 26 pounds for it all. Yep, 26 pounds. Um, could have been worse, could have been better, but I had a lot of chocolate that I hadn't seen and stuff I want to try, so hopefully it'll be tasty. Yep, so when we walked in, they handed us these bars, so each we got three each, and then these, the kids won because they were, they counted all the eggs. If we're being honest, I think they were nice, and if you gave them a number, you got it, but hey, he still gave you a little, little bunny rabbit, right? Yeah. It's Peter Rabbit. It is Peter Rabbit. That's it's pretty a cool, right? Peter. Yeah, it's By a chocolate Beatrix Peter Potter. Rabbit. I actually studied and drew Peter Rabbit in art and learned about Beatrix Potter. Oh, that's cool. She went from poor to rich. Oh, she probably worked really hard for it, right? Yeah. She right. got a lot of money just on making books. So just walking in, we were given those, and then the kids won those, and then we have our stack of chocolate that we bought on our own. Whisper. And then we got a couple whisper. little toys too, right? Whisper, whisper. That's yeah. a lot of fun. This so, bear is very soft. I'd recommend you get this one. Oh, you like him? He's soft? I think the cow is really cute though. And he's if got you a little like fuzzy stuff, if you like fuzzy stuff, then the bear would be, the, then the little waistcoat bear would be the good choice. But, but if, if you, you like, like cute like, stuff, really, really cute stuff, the cow would be the choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so. And if you like Big fly thing? Mm. You should get the bigger version of this. Yeah, there was a bigger bear, wasn't there? Yeah. So, but it costs a lot. Yeah, like a lot. it did. It did cost more than Daddy was willing to spend on the a stuffed animal. You guys had fun. Yeah. Yeah. And now we're gonna get ready. We're in the car and we're about to head home. Yep. It's about. Wait, wait is there a clock on that? It's about six o'clock. We got here at. Somewhere around one, so it's been all day we were here, huh? Did you guys have fun? What was your favorite part, guys? The 4D Chocolate Adventure. You like the 4D Chocolate Adventure? What about you, Evie? I don't know. You don't know what your favorite part is? I we loved just, it all. You loved it all. Oh, that's good. Well, now we're going to go get some food. And then we're going to head home. All right, so we started headed home and everybody was hungry, right? Yeah. So we stopped to get something that we wouldn't get with mommy. KFC. Uh, yeah, we got us some KFC. So chicken burgers all around, if I think, if I remember correctly. We all got chicken burgers, so we'll see how good they are. That's why I'm eating over it. Yeah, eat over it. So what do you think of your food, Evie? Great. You're great? Do you like it? Yeah. Are you glad we stopped for it? Yes. Yeah. And what about you, buddy? Yes. Yeah. How do you how do you feel? How do you feel? Good. It's good? just as good as McDonald's. Just as good as McDonald's. Look at that. What a mm. glowing recommendation. And then you guys got pineapple and some French fries. French fries are down there. Yeah, the French and fries are down there. Over that. And fruit juice. Yeah, we got fruit juice. Wasn't daddy nice? And. You guys are gonna be up all night, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this daddy is... got some Pepsi. Well, yeah, but that's for daddy, not for you. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. All right, I guess I should start eating now, huh? All right, so we're all done with dinner, and we're eating dessert, right? What did they give you for dessert? A pineapple. A pineapple. Pie. Yeah, a pineapple <laughs> slice. It's a pineapple. And I got. The chicken burger, and it came with fries, a drink, and a small piece of, or one piece of chicken. And I realized, Daddy made a mistake. 
he should have he she he talked Evie out of getting just the chicken, the bone chicken, and he got that one piece. I should have just gotten the chicken. So but next time? yep, next time if there is one, we'll Daddy. just get the chicken, right? Hey everybody! All right, that's gonna do it for this one. We got up, we went out to Cadbury World. We left around noon, and we got back around nine. So it was a long day. We did a lot of cool things. We drove out there. We got to have our little picnic in the car. And then we went to the 4D experience. I think that was one of the kids' favorite thing. I don't know what Evie's favorite thing was. Landon, I think, said the 4D. And from there, we went to the Bourneville experience. The kids didn't much care for that. It was a lot of cool memorabilia, though. So that was kind of neat, fun. You know, nothing special, but it was still neat. And we went inside to Cadbury World. And we watched the videos. We got to go write our name in chocolate. And then temper a little bit of chocolate. And fortunately, you know, with the times, they had hand washing station right after, which was perfect. And at that point, we wandered on a little bit further. And it dropped us off in the gift shop where we bought a lot of chocolate. Should be fun to eat over the next little while. And at that point, we got in the car, we had dinner, and we headed home. It was a fun day, all in all. I think the kids had a good time. I know uh, Landon, I think, or maybe Evie, both of them probably, were asking when we could go back. And I think it was a good time. So thanks for joining us. I'm going to let the kids do their outro, and that'll be it. So I really, so something I really liked about Cat Bobby One was... Well, we got to do an egg hunt, and something I didn't like was the museum, and I had fun. Now let's see what Landon wants to say. I, l I just liked what Evie liked to the Bourneville Experience, it's called, it's called the Bourneville Experience. I think we filmed some of that. And the 4D chocolate adventure was really cool, but we didn't film it, and we yeah, they, these they told us stuffies. we're not allowed to film in there, so we couldn't film yep. in there. But we but filmed we, leading up to it. Yeah, we filmed leading up. So if you want to see that, go back to like way at the beginning of the video. Yeah, and we got some toys, and now guess what? Stop Whoa! the bread. Yeah.